It's sort of like two magnets that are constantly repelling each other. I think like that they're like that in real life, and I think that in the movie they're like that. And it's you know it's not a new concept for a comedy, but I think they take it to a new level for sure. Well, it's it's. I think it's always really important that when you're doing a comedy that the the comic actors come from a very different place comedically, and, th and they definitely do. They couldn't be further apart, quite honestly, comedically. And um, Downey has a very dry, sarcastic, kind of, not mean-spirited, but, but rough wit, and Zach is just sunshine, in a way, and just wants everyone to love him, and certainly the movie, I mean, and uh, that kind of two things together, I thought, made it really interesting. I do it, do that on all my movies, you know, here it is on paper, we show up in the morning, we spend an hour in the trailer, just the three of us just talking about what we're really going to do and where we're really going to push it or pull back or what. And uh, it's constantly, it's a, the script is a living, breathing organism and we're constantly shif shifting it and shaping it to, to fit what we're doing. Ten. Yeah, and I think that's what made the movie really challenging for me and a really fun departure from having just done The Hangover was those shifting tones, which isn't so easy to do as a director or as actors and really have you laughing at one minute and then feeling really bad for Ethan again and then hating him two minutes later. And it's like, to me, messing with the tone was what made it really exciting. She's so sweet, and uh, getting her, getting Julia Lewis, Danny McBride, Jamie Foxx, we have a lot of people showing up in this movie, not for a huge amount of screen time since it's really about these two guys, but they come in and they just kill those parts. That was the most challenging part was all those different places, the fact that we made a road movie, and we really wanted to be on the road and really travel across. I remember reading a long time ago an interview with Francis Ford Coppola where he was talking about having made rain people and they just sort of drove across the country and did it like this moving caravan. And I always loved the idea of that. And one day I'll do a road movie like that. And that was sort of uh, what we attempted to do. And that was the hardest part logistically, shooting the action and the cars and all that stuff. That's really fun to do and, and isn't all that difficult ultimately. I never really did go out. I grew up in New York. We didn't even have a car until uh, until about five years ago. I had my first car, so I'm not a big driver. But, but uh, yeah, I, it's more to me what it represents. It represents putting your actors and your characters out there without a safety net. You know, being on the road, not having your family and friends around you. You're just kind of traveling without a net. I love it. I love it. just loyalty, the same people, the same crew. I've had the same crew for seven movies, ten years now. It's just the way, you know, we all know what to expect, how we operate. Love bringing in new people like Robert Downey, but it just keeps that sort of family environment. I mean, for me, my favorite scene was the scene in the Grand Canyon because it's one of those scenes that's really funny, really sad, funny again, angry. That scene in itself has four different emotions going on throughout it, so that was really my favorite. I love him so much. I just saw somebody was emailing me, forwarded me an email from the American Kennel Society putting out a warning that don't see due date and suddenly fall in love with a dog and adopt a dog, meaning like think before you adopt. I thought that was really an interesting thing because he's on the poster and he's featured so much in the movie and suddenly people are like, I gotta have that dog. And, and it is true, I mean, I'm a huge animal lover and I, have, you know, I always put animals in my movies because I just love their faces. <laughs>